Breaking news tonight, the man accused of killing a New Orleans police officer in 2017 has been found guilty of first degree murder. Mike Carlstein has been following this trial since it began and he was at the courthouse tonight as that verdict was read. Guilty across the board. It took the jury only two hours to come to that conclusion, starting with first degree murder against defendant Darren Bridges in the killing of officer Marcus McNeil, several drug counts, the aggravated assault of a second officer, and obstruction of justice for hiding the gun. That means that Darren Bridges will be sentenced to mandatory life in prison without parole. This was a very speedy verdict, perhaps by virtue of the endless video of the killing itself, the body cam video of Officer McNeil, his taser cam, as well as security cameras in that Eastern New Orleans apartment complex where this shooting happened in October 2017. District Attorney Jason William personally helped prosecute this case, along with assistants Andre Godin and Simone Levine. Here's what Williams and Godin had to say after the verdict. We are just glad to have come to a conclusion to this case and a just one. Make no bones about it, Darren Bridges is a murderer. Uh, he murdered Marcus McNeil. He executed him. Uh, you could see it on the video. He could have walked away after wounding him. Uh, and so we will vigorously fight any appeals that are taken. Uh, but Darren Bridges got a fair trial, and, he, uh, and it was with a jury of his peers, and it was unanimous, and it was clear. Reporting at New Orleans Criminal Court at Tulane and Broad, Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. New Orleans Police Chief Sean Ferguson sent us a statement after the verdict. It reads in part, quote, we are pleased that the jury delivered justice to the family of slain officer Marcus McNeil. I want to especially thank District Attorney Jason Williams and his team for bringing this prosecution to a successful conclusion.